Arno Tausch, Wikipedia article audio. Arno Tausch is an Austrian political scientist. His research program is focused on world systems theory, development studies, and dependency theory, European studies in the framework of core periphery relationships, and quantitative peace and conflict studies. Tausch received his PhD in political science from Salzburg University in 1976. His habilitation at the Department of Political Science at Innsbruck University was concluded in 1988. The chairperson of his habilitation commission was Professor Anton Palinka. Since then, he has been adjunct professor at that department. He is currently also Associate Visiting Professor of Economics at Corvinus University Budapest. Academic Career Publications Tausch is a member of the editorial boards of several scientific journals, among them Innovation, the European Journal of Social Science Research, Society and Economy, History and Mathematics Almanac and the Journal of Globalization Studies. As of March 2017, Tausch had authored or co-authored according to his academic CV at his website, 18 books in English, 2 in French, and 8 in German, and a number of articles in English, Spanish, French, Russian, Polish and German in peer-reviewed scholarly journals and articles on current affairs. He also has written articles for Tiempo Argentino, a newspaper based in Buenos Aires, Die Press, Der Standard, and Wiener Zeitung in Vienna. Generally, social science literature mentions Tausch's work mainly in the context of debates on global Keynesianism, the socio-liberal theory of world development, Kondratiev waves, the measurement of child poverty, Dependency theory and world system approaches to international relations, the World Values Survey, anti-Semitism, Islamic studies and European Union studies and European social policy. In the international press, Tausch's work is seen mostly in the framework of the efficiency and effectiveness of social spending. Scholarly work Tausch published critical studies of the political economy of the European Union, globalization, and providing a link between dependency theory and world system theory with the empirical analysis of social development in Europe, especially Eastern Europe and in the Muslim world. His research started with a rethinking of dependency theory in the framework of quantitative data and statistical analysis and work on poverty in the leading industrialized countries. Critique His doctoral thesis at Salzburg University on the limits to growth theory was dedicated to the empirical analysis of dependency, income inequality, and social development in up to 40 countries of the world with country studies for Brazil and Yugoslavia. Following the logic of trying to identify the structures, which block third world development in the industrialized countries, he then researched on Austrian arms exports to third world countries, based on United States arms control and disarmament agency figures. His habilitation thesis focused on multiple regression models of global development, based on data from the World Bank and Volker Bornshear as well as the World Handbook of Political and Social Indicators 3, and tests the relevance of socio-liberal approaches to world development, already inherent in the writings of classical social democratic development theories in Europe in the 1930s with multiple regression and canonical correlation models. This approach was continued and expanded in socio-liberal theory of world development. Later work dealt with Russia and the global Kondratiev cycle, the effects of the arms trade on social development, especially for the countries of Eastern Europe and the former USSR. 
Militarism will grow in these countries because of the distribution coalition prone environment of periphery socialism. In the 1990s, Tausch analyzed migration processes and the transformation of post communist countries. Selected books Later work also included studies of the effects of multinational corporations and their investments in developing countries work on social indicators of development, anti-Americanism, child poverty, Islamism, Kondratiev cycles, liberation theology, pension reform, contradictions of European Union development, global Keynesianism and comparative price levels, Islamophobia, social expenditure and public health research. English in recent years, Tausch's studies were also debated in the fields of bibliometry and scientometry, China studies, environmental studies and studies on unequal exchange, European Union studies, research on globalization and the international political economy, Kondratiev cycles, the measurement of poverty and well-being. Middle East Studies and Studies About Muslims in Western Countries Globalization Studies, in Studies on Terrorism, and in World Values Survey-Oriented Research French Although the concept of unequal exchange, as developed by Kohler and Tausch has become one of the standard definitions in world system theory and in critical studies on globalization and sustainable development, the Turkish economist Turan Subasir recently criticized this concept by saying that international prices are formed in a complex manner and lower international prices for low-income countries cannot simply be considered as evidence for unequal exchange. The Austrian political scientist Thomas Schmidinger, writing in the official journal of the Austrian Political Science Association, Österreichische Zeitschrift für Politikwissenschaft, on Tausch's attempts to measure Muslim opinions in Europe comes to the conclusion. Tausch attempts to redress the lack of serious qualitative and quantitative social research by using data from the World Values Survey and the European Social Survey. He speaks even of a forensic political science and a forensic sociology. He rightly criticizes that neither the European Union nor the national states in Europe provide adequate resources for such research. Really to resolve this lack of data, a whole team of long-term research would have been necessary. Right here, however, Tausch shows that he does not have enough data and therefore his approach, as he himself writes in the introduction, is forensic. Who really wants to get more secure data in the debate on Islam in Europe should invest in a large-scale study conducted in a methodologically sound way, which should not examine only the Muslim population, but also appropriate comparison groups from the non-Muslim population.